The FCC has voted to restore net neutrality this rules. This one snuck through. Awesome. FCC voted recently to restore the regulations that expand government oversight of broadband providers and aim to protect consumer access to the internet. Who was hampering that? Yeah. When was that ever an issue? Ever? When? It'll be an issue now. You will? Yep. You can count on that. Known as net neutrality, the Mm. regulations were first put in place nearly a decade ago under Obama and are aimed at preventing internet service providers like Verizon or Comcast from blocking or degrading the delivery of services from competitors (sighs) like Netflix and YouTube. Oh, is that happening? It, it used to, uh, you know, where you would, they would, uh, you know, where that's where you get the buffering, and uh, you know, they would, they would uh, a lot only so much for uh, the Netflix bandwidth feed. and whatever. Yeah. And uh, I, and that that was when they, especially when they were fighting over, you know, what each company was going to pay for access and everything. Um, but I don't. I, but that's between private companies, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Yeah, right. make a deal if, with them. If they're if they're messing with your internet service, change providers. Correct. The uh, free market takes care of this. It kind sure of stuff. does. Jessica Rosenworcel, <laughs> the chairman of the FCC and a Democrat, said the rules reflected the importance of high speed internet as the main mode of communications for many Americans. Every consumer deserves oh. access that is fast, open, and fair. This is common sense. Do we all deserve it? <laughs> really? And do we deserve it to be provided by the government? That's kind of a another question. Why uh, would you why would you invest as a company into this high-speed stuff and if you're going to have to 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 bend over for your competitors provide it for free. Right? Well, because I deserve it by paying of through the knows for my internet service. Yes. I'll tell you that. That's how I deserve it. Exactly. Uh, And it was Rhonda Locklear's testimony before Congress, right, that brought some of this on. Yeah. yeah, Well, um, they're getting rid of uh, rural internet service. Yeah. You see. Provided by the government. By the government. The Congress isn't uh, re-upping that money. I've already started to see commercials of companies saying, hey, you're about to have to pay for it yourself. And wow. We can help. No. Yeah. No. Can't have that. Can't have it. Because they deserve it. Uh, let me remind you of what Rhonda told us about the, uh, you know, the Lumbee tribe in North Carolina. My name is Rhonda Locklear. Right. I'm from Pembroke. Pembroke. And I'm a member of the Lumbee tribe of yeah. North Carolina. I've right. missed her. Mm-hmm. I have two children. Children. And like any mother, mother, I want the best for my boys. Of course, she do. <laughs> Jacob, my oldest, Jacob, is a transferring student oldest. to UNC Pembroke. Pembroke. And Isaac is in the eighth grade at Pembroke Middle School. Right. Okay. Like most families mm-hmm. across the state. Who either don't have access don't have to it. high-speed internet, right. who, or who can't afford it? You can't afford it. We were stuck with dial-up service in our home, stuck oh, with no. until two months ago. Can oh, you imagine? No. Can you I, imagine? I can't. The catastrophe that was I, her home, they can't. where they had to access the internet via dial-up. Boy, that would suck. In two thousand nine. When this happened? Right. Okay. Right. And that's what she was stuck with until I think it's three or four, she's going to tell us here, three or four <laughs> months before this mm-hmm. happened, she actually did get the high yeah, speed. Yeah, but they already had bought yeah. the plane ticket right. and booked the time in the committee room, and they're like, just right. come on in. Let her tell us how it used to be, though. <laughs> I feel that this has put my family, uh-huh. my sons in particular, in particular oh, yeah. at a severe disadvantage. Well, well it yeah. has. So, it has. Isaac depends on the internet mm-hmm. for to complete his assignments, assignments for school. And porn. <laughs> he often uses the internet to inter- work on reports, mm-hmm. projects, mm-hmm. or often at times often to just do research. Times. That's research. what we're calling it. On research. Hot babes. Yeah. yeah. I mean that takes a lot of research time. It, it does. And if you're only Amen, getting, Pat. If the Amen. pictures if the pictures are coming through dial up, you only get like the oh, forehead man. for you know, after 5, 10, 15 There's minutes of so waiting. long I could use my imagination. We I think move we need on. to check Jacob and Isaac's browser history. <laughs> I watched him struggle, struggle with the dial-up service right. and observed him get frustrated. Yeah. She observed. It's not just hearsay. She saw. So she's just sitting there watching with her own eyes. Suffer? That he the frustration. Yeah, go do yeah, something yeah. about frustration. it. Jeez. Yeah. Because he could not move around on the web like he likes and needed to do. And needed to do. 
So he lacky lacks. But <laughs> beyond also, that, he also needed yeah. to do it. Seemingly easy assignments yeah. took him hours to hours. complete. Oh, hours. Hell. And it's not because he's stupid. It's because... Well, we don't know that. Well, it could be because he's stupid. That could be part of it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But a oh, big does, part of it... She doesn't say that, though. ...is the dialogue. I no, just did some but, quick math here, and I, yeah. you can check my math, but this is 2009. Uh-huh. Um, and, and so, to Jeffy's point, are they retired yet? Right? Yeah, the kids. Jacob, so if he's a senior oldest, in high school, man, he's like 33, uh, 34 years old yeah, now. Yes, so, yes. <laughs> and does he have dial-up now? I don't know. It's very disheartening to watch. Yeah. To watch, yeah. Isaac got very upset. Upset, yeah. Discouraged. Discouraged. And frustrated. And frustrated. Yeah. frustrated. And you don't want that. Uh-uh. You don't want Because that. he could not do what he needed no, to, to do. do. <laughs> right. As a mother. As a mother. It breaks my heart. It broke her heart. And causes me to feel. And caused her to feel. That I have failed him. Well, because well, she has. Some way. She has. Yeah. You have failed him. Yeah. You kind of have. You're a miserable mother. <laughs> Yeah, who's watching the kids while you're in D.C. doing this spiel? right. Hmm? Uh, Where's CPS? Mm -hmm. Where's CPS? Busting down her door and say, we understand until three months ago you had dial-up service in this house. (laughs) (laughs) And that you sat there knowingly watching your children get frustrated. Observing them. And did nothing about it. There's nothing she could do. What could she do? What do you mean, what could she do? Well, they eventually did it. They got high speed. Well, there you go. You vote Democrat. That's the moral of the story, <laughs> right? You know, live off other people's. That's exactly right. Now they now they've built it up so you can't. Even, there is no dial up, right? If you don't have broadband, you mm-hmm. don't have internet. Yeah, I don't think you can. You even do dial I don't up think so. if you wanted to. Probably, maybe. <laughs> I don't Dude, know that would exists. be a challenge, man. It's like somebody out there. Let us know. Is that still? Does anybody out there still hear the? <laughs> <laughs> 